Welcome to the Financial Quarterback with your host, Jim Lineweaver. Hi, I'm Jim Lineweaver, your financial quarterback since 1993. I've been working with private and corporate clients as a certified financial planner professional for nearly 30 years. Every year at this time, we meet new clients who want to drastically overhaul their finances and set themselves up for increased wealth in the new year. I've put a list of five resolutions that I always share with people and that you can put to work for you as well. First things first, the base of any good financial plan is insurance because it helps you control your risk. You can have the best financial plan in the world, but if something happens to you or your family, you need to be protected to keep your plan in solid footing. You first want to take the time to make sure all your insurances are in proper order. This includes life insurance, disability insurance, and even property and casualty coverage. Because we specialize in working with retirees, long-term care is especially important to our clients. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, 70% of people aged 65 and older are likely to need long-term care at some point. So finally, you want to consider an umbrella policy as well, especially if you have rental or vacation homes. Secondly, your financial goals, both long and short term, should be driven by your personal goals, whether that's providing for children and grandchildren, sending them to college, passing the family business to the next generation, or preparing for your own retirement and the traveling that you want to do. You should think about all these goals and how they compare to where you are now. I sit down with my clients and in addition to goals like retirement, create a bucket list to make sure that we're thinking about wants as well as the needs in retirement. And the third resolution is about tax planning. Many people find they're being penny wise and pound foolish, saving small amounts during the year and then getting hit with huge capital gain distributions or other unnecessary taxes. So now is the time to look at your year end statements and look at the interest, dividends or capital gain distributions that you're going to have to pay taxes on. If you don't like what you see, spend some time with a tax strategist and do some planning so you don't get hit with the same thing again and again. Our fourth resolution is to make sure you have all the right estate planning documents in place. This can include your will, health care and financial powers of attorney, and that these are all up to date. You should also meet with an estate planning attorney and talk to them about trusts. Tools like a bloodline trust can help with family wealth planning and can save you a lot of time and money in the long term. And the last one is to make sure that your financial, tax, legal, and insurance are all coordinated and that your advisors are all communicating and working towards the best possible outcome on your behalf. We touched on all the areas of a good financial plan, but you actually need to go a little bit further. Most of the new clients we see have many advisors, but no coordination, and we see mistakes and missed opportunities all the time. It's a good idea to make sure that you have someone acting as a financial quarterback so that nothing slips through the cracks. And that may mean getting a second opinion on your current plan or strategy. So these are five of the most important financial resolutions you can make. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a happy new year. Here's Fox News Sunday.